Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw this logo design by using Inkscape. So let's start with the design process. First of all, go to view and select it to white. Then again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Now go to file and select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now this is our command bar. Here you will see a small arrow. Left click on it and select align and distribute menu. Again click on this arrow and select fill and stroke menu like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select the circle tool and draw a perfect circle while holding down the control key like this. We doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and we only need the stroke. Now go to fill and stroke menu and change the stroke style. First change the units to pixels and then change the stroke width to say 4 pixels like this and increase its opacity to say 100% like this. Now lock the proportions of the dimensions and change the dimensions of the circle to say 250 pixels like this. Now again select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this and change the dimensions of the circle to say 380 pixels like this. Now turn on the snapping and turn on the snap nodes and snap paths and from here turn on the quadrant snap like this. Now place this quadrant of the circle at the quadrant of this smaller circle like this. Now right click and duplicate this circle and place the quadrant of this circle at this end. Again right click duplicate this circle and place this at this quadrant like this. Now again right click duplicate it and drag it up to one side and increase the dimensions of the circle to 640 pixels like this. Go to fill and stroke menu and change the width of the circle to say 3 pixels like this. Select this circle and this smaller one at the middle. Go to align and distribute menu. Select the relative to to last selected. Then select center on vertical axis like this. And then drag this vertically upward while holding down the control key like this. Now change the color of this circle to say black color by clicking on this color while holding down the shift key like this. Now press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area like this. Select this black circle and drag it vertically upward while holding down the control key and make sure that both of these circles overlap each other like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select all of these circles. Go to path and select combine. Now. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this and give it some solid color like this blue color and place this behind our pin object like this. Now select both of these objects, go to path and select division. Now you can delete the unwanted parts by selecting the part with the left click of mouse and pressing delete on the keyboard like this. Now we will delete all of the unwanted parts with the same process. Now this is our main part. Select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now we only need the fill and doesn't need the stroke. So we will cancel the stroke by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this. Now we will decrease the dimensions of this part to say we will decrease the width to 205 pixels like this. Now again select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key. We doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it and give it a stroke color by clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key on the keyboard like this. Now we will change the dimensions of the circle to say by 165 pixels like this. Now select the pen tool and draw a line from this quadrant to this quadrant. Again draw a line from this quadrant to this quadrant like this. Now select this part and this circle. Go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and then center on horizontal axis like this and align right edge of the object to the left edge of the anchor like this. Now select both of these parts and select 
zoom to fit to selection like this now left click on this part again left click and you will see a small center point like this now you can drag the center point with the left click of mouse at the center of this circle like this now again select zoom to fit to page like this now go to object and select transform go to rotate menu and select the angle to 60 degrees like this and in a clockwise direction like this now select this part right click duplicate it and select apply again right click duplicate it and select apply again right click duplicate it select apply now all of these objects have rotated about their center point which we have placed at the intersection of these two lines now this is our final logo and you can delete this middle circle like this the center of the logo represents a star which increases the visual impact of this logo now this is our final design now you can check the visual impact of the logo by changing different colors and gradients like this if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also suggest me in the comment section that how this design can be improved and also tell me that whether you like it or not thanks for watching and have a nice day